Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that might surprise you. Why kids snore? You might think snoring is just something adults do, but kids can snore too. If you've ever heard your little one sawing logs at night, you might be wondering why it's happening and if you should be concerned. So, let's dive into the reasons kids snore and what you can do about it. First off, let's clear up a common misconception. Snoring in kids isn't always a sign of something serious. Sometimes, it can be as simple as a temporary stuffy nose due to a cold or allergies. When the nasal passages are blocked, it can cause the tissues in the throat to vibrate, leading to that familiar snoring sound. In these cases, the snoring usually goes away once the cold or allergies are treated. However, there are other reasons kids might snore that are a bit more persistent. One common cause is enlarged tonsils or adenoids. These are tissues in the back of the throat and nasal passages that can become swollen and block the airway. When the airway is partially blocked, it makes it harder for air to flow smoothly, causing snoring. If you notice your child snoring frequently and they also have difficulty breathing through their nose, it might be worth checking with a doctor to see if their tonsils or adenoids are the issue. Another reason kids might snore is due to obesity. Extra weight, especially around the neck, can put pressure on the airway and make it more likely to collapse during sleep. This can lead to snoring and even sleep apnea, a condition where breathing stops and starts during sleep. If your child is overweight and snores, it might be a good idea to talk to a healthcare professional about healthy weight management and the impact it could have on their sleep. Speaking of sleep apnea, it's a more serious condition that can cause snoring in kids. Sleep apnea occurs when the airway becomes completely blocked during sleep, causing breathing to stop for short periods. This can lead to restless sleep and daytime fatigue. If your child snores loudly, seems to struggle to breathe at night, or is very sleepy during the day, it could be a sign of sleep apnea. A doctor can perform a sleep study to diagnose the condition and recommend treatment, which might include lifestyle changes, medical devices, or even surgery in some cases. Now, let's talk about some less common reasons for snoring in kids. Allergies, as mentioned earlier, can cause nasal congestion that leads to snoring. But did you know that environmental factors like secondhand smoke can also contribute? Exposure to smoke can irritate the airways and cause inflammation, making it more likely for kids to snore. Keeping a smoke-free environment can help reduce this risk. Another factor to consider is your child's sleeping position. Kids who sleep on their backs are more likely to snore because this position allows the tongue and soft tissues in the throat to collapse backward, partially blocking the airway. Encouraging your child to sleep on their side can help reduce snoring. You can try using a body pillow or even sewing a small pocket into the back of their pajamas and placing a tennis ball in it to discourage back sleeping. Sometimes, snoring in kids can be related to structural issues in the mouth or throat, such as a deviated septum or a small jaw. These conditions can narrow the airway and make it more likely to vibrate during sleep. If you suspect this might be the case, a visit to an ear, nose, and throat specialist can provide more insight and potential treatment options. And let's not forget about the impact of certain medications. Some medicines can relax the muscles too much, including those in the throat, which can lead to snoring. If your child has started a new medication and you notice an increase in snoring, it's worth discussing with their doctor to see if the medication could be the cause. While occasional snoring in kids is usually nothing to worry about, persistent or loud snoring can be a sign of an underlying issue that needs attention. Addressing the root cause of the snoring not only helps your child get better sleep, but can also improve their overall health and well-being. So, there you have it, a look at some of the reasons why kids snore. From temporary stuffy noses to more serious conditions like sleep apnea, there are many potential causes. The key is to pay attention to the patterns and other symptoms your child might be experiencing and consult with a healthcare professional if you have concerns. Now, I'm curious, have you noticed your child snoring? What steps have you taken to address it and what worked best for you? Share your experiences in the comments below and let's get a conversation going. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more insights and tips. Until next time, sleep tight and take care.